now it's time to take a look at the fifth and final key to pool care, and that's chemicals and water chemistry. It's always good to use a program. A good program is going to work synergistically, or in other words, with the other four keys to pool care, and help to maintain great quality water and ease of use and, and just wonderful bathing time. In using a program, we mean staying with something that, that works, something that is easy to remember, easy to use, and shouldn't take more than five minutes as far as additions on a weekly basis. That's all you have to do. Mainly, we have four basic steps. There are four basic steps within this key. The first step is to sanitize the water continuously. In other words, you want your chlorine, your bromine, your buguanide, your pristine blue, your salt chlorine, whatever you, you choose to sanitize your pool with, to be killing bacteria 24-7. The second step is to shock the pool regularly. Regularly means shock the pool either weekly or at least every two weeks. What shocking does is oxidizes or removes or helps to remove organic waste that accumulates in the pool. When you shock the pool, you will also help the sanitizer. Shocking the pool rids the pool of unwanted odors, unwanted um, certain bacteria, and it can also help to kill algae more, more effectively. It is important to shock the pool when you open the pool. It's important to shock the pool every week or two weeks. It's important to shock the pool when you close the pool. Don't forget that very important step. The third step is add algicide or prevent algae. We want to prevent algae because algae is a pain in the neck. And whether it is green, whether it is black, whether it is yellow, whatever color of algae that you have in your pool, trust me, you didn't want it there in the first place. So we want to prevent algae growth. We prevent algae growth by adding an algicide about every week to two weeks, again, depending on the program that you are using. Adding an algicide also works to back up the sanitizer. So in case you have a party and there are a lot of people using the pool and the sanitizer gets used up, the algicide kicks in and helps to take some of the work away. The fourth step, and probably the most important step, is maintaining good water balance. Maintaining a proper pH, maintaining a, a proper total alkalinity and calcium hardness are all key to how, not only how good the sanitizer is going to work in the pool, but also how comfortable you are going to be in your pool. Proper water balance also means that your vinyl liner or your concrete finish or your plaster finish maintain good condition and shape for many, many years. Now, let's take a look at, at three basic, simple and easy pool care programs. The first program that we have is the BioGuard three-step program. It's, this program is simple, it is proven, it works, it's a great easy way to maintain a pool. You can either use a smart stick right into your skimmer. Smart sticks are great because they only dissolve when the filter is running. When the filter is not running, they stop dissolving. You use one stick per between 7,500 and 10,000 gallons of water in your skimmer. There is no chlorinator required smart sticks or silk tabs or silk sticks. They're blue in color and they work either in an automatic chlorinator or in your skimmer. They provide great bacteria kill and they're easy to use. In our second step, we have BioGuard Burnout, our shock or easy shock and swim or smart shock. Any of these products you use on a weekly basis approximately one pound per 10,000 gallons. Keep in mind that when you are shocking the pool, when you are reading the, the shock dosage requirements, those requirements are for crystal clear pools. If your pool is cloudy, don't be afraid to use an additional dosage. 
third step is going to be backup, backup algicide, which is going to prevent algae. Backup algicide is great in, in preventing algae. It's a surfactant, so it heads for all the surfaces where algae first tends, tends to grow and does a great prevention job. Also, if you happen to get lots of water bugs, those, you know, those funny swimming things that are in the pool, the surfactant in the, in the backup algicide remove, helps to remove the air bubble, which keeps those little bugs alive. So it's, that's just a, a nice little extra. The second program that we have is a non-chlorine program, Soft Swim. Soft Swim is, is non-chlorine, non-bromine. Uh, it's a biguanide product. It's, we've been carrying it and using it successfully for about uh, almost 30 years. And it, it's, it's simple, it's easy, it's all liquid. The, back, the, the Soft Swim B is the bactericide, and that's your step number one. Step number two is Soft Swim C, the clarifier. And step number three is Soft Swim A, the algicide. Simple to use, product is added about once every two weeks. Typically, this is great to use in vinyl liner pools with sand filters, preferably with, with, uh, with volumes of, of under 25,000 gallons. A third program which, has, which we've been very happy and very successful with is Pristine Blue. Pristine Blue is, is a non-chlorine pool care system, but unlike Soft Swim, it is chlorine compatible. So that if you do run into an algae problem or, or a very bad cloudy problem after a severe storm or um, something that is causing a water problem, you can use chlorine and fix the problem and you're back to a non-chlorine system. Mostly liquids, easy to apply, simple to use. Shock, either Pristine Power, which is a non-chlorine shock, is added weekly. Pristine Extra is added monthly just to give the pool an extra boost. Those are our main three systems and pool care systems. After we have treated the pool by and large, you may want to consider enhancing the water further. We enhance the water with a couple of different products. You can enhance the water with Optimizer Plus. Optimizer Plus is a wonderful borate product. Borates are terrific in that they help prevent algae, plus they also buffer the water. So if you're having problems with, the, with maintaining a good pH and total alkalinity, Using Optimizer Plus is going to help that, that situation, plus it's going to prevent algae, plus it's going to make the water feel better. The borates that are used in, in Optimizer Plus are similar to the borates that are used for eye washes and, and other body washes, medically. So it's, it's, it's easy on the skin and on the eyes. One thing to keep in mind, unfortunately for our, our friends in California, you can't have this. It's not available in California. Other enhancers to use would be enzymes, natural enzymes, work further in cleaning up and, and actually digesting greases and oils that help to feed and contribute to algae growth and bacteria growth. Another enhancing product is Aquafinesse Pool Pucks, Pool pucks go into the underground lines and help to remove the biofilm in the underground lines and in all those, those funky parts that you can't get at. So that's going to mean underground lines, the backside of your underwater light, uh, the backside of your um, skimmer door, the underside of pool ladder treads, and so many other surfaces. Finally, we want to remember that you want to maintain good water balance. pH plus, pH minus, has balance pack 100, or maintains the total alkalinity. Balance pack 200 takes care of increasing pH. Low and slow reduces pH. We prefer low and slow as a pH reducer as compared to a liquid acid because it's much, much safer to use and, and handle. Furthermore, 
the Balance Pack 300, which increases calcium hardness. Finally, we want to have test strips or some type of, of testing kit available to maintain the water balance. To make life really easy, we've, we have published and printed several brochures on, on pool care. All of these are available at our website. You can download them and read them at your convenience. That's it as far as water chemistry. For more information, please visit our, our website at parpools.com forward slash five keys or parpools.com forward slash pool care.